as we know Raphael deal is done and dusted and with Saffron engine deal the whole equation changed. Owing to increased reliance in Raphael's and the whole ecosystem creation, Mod is planning to go back to original plan of ordering more from Rignac line and twice of that from Indian line. This has brightened the prospect of a further off-the-shelf purchase at much lower price than before. Trawl on the other hand has been pushing for a more concrete order and step towards mint it's expected that Press Macron visit will see some detailed briefing in this regard. That should be good as IF and M both has flagged critical necessary of Rafael's owing to upgraded security threat emerging in and around our country and region. MRCBF point is being pushed aggressively as IAC1 needs a direction for airwing and planned modification. So in top brass wants mod to come clear with a decision. For F35 we still have not acquired a no strings attached status. It's the same for F18, no nuclear strike role for US aircrafts. Second US government and LM again said access to F-35 under priority status but the defined status includes a global remote monitoring system for ensuring the usages as defined by US laws and Senate directives. This is why French side access is unprecedented and their whole ecosystem creation will make US cry more. So expect anti-Rafael and anti-French issues will be created via media. LCAMK2 needs almost all system subsystems and components from the scratch and is now termed as donor parts. It needs a new airframe because no airframe is finalized for the MK2 project as per the 200 plus planes. There are almost 150 plus improvements planned from LCA MK1 to LCA MK1A. Few include air intake, aerodynamic shaping, subsystem structure, performance, and size. This is as of now very wide and will be shortlisted further to trim it down with most parts planned initially from F-16 and Rafale. With no clarity for F-16, the chance of Rafale parts inside has increased a lot more for development of LCA MKXX series. The performance parameters of MK1A is now much better as targeted than before, details to be at in coming months. LCA MK1A aerodynamic performance changes need metallurgical changes which are taking time, so the timeline is a challenge which HAL is not ready to admit in public. There is a large consensus based on test data that M88 family of engines powered by M88-4 and M88-3 cores is enough for LCA series of aircrafts with wet thrust reaching 1xx kN. There is a new generation MXX family core which is being tested for the Saffronized Cavery upgrade program. The MTPF of all the Saffronized Cavery family as of now is lower than M88 family used in France. Focus has been on increased thrust and limited life but better than Russian counterparts used in IF-N. Eco-pack-like feature development to optimize and prolong life and MTPF at par with new generation of M88 has started parallelly. Cavery family engines which will now have adequate power to take up to 30 ton MTAU in twin engine configuration and in future will be applied to take more MTAU. We are slowly reaching a position where if there is no major redesign needed a lot of Indian ecosystem produced engines in our fleet may see usage over next decade in both AF and Navy.